Equality is uh, an expectation, it's a right. We should all feel safe in our workplace, treated equally with dignity and respect. When Jane started work as a bus driver for Stagecoach in 2004, just 15 out of 250 drivers were women. When I started working for Stagecoach, there wasn't any women's representation. We were in the minority and still are. And some of the issues such as women's uniforms. Um, we didn't have a maternity uniform. Uh, they will be expected to wear large men's trousers. This isn't acceptable, you know. Um, and we don't want to stand out or be apart from the workforce. Ten years ago, the TUC set up a biennial equality audit. This was in response to the findings of its own Stephen Lawrence task group. The aim of the audit was to ensure the unions were doing all they could to promote equality and eliminate harassment, prejudice and discrimination in the workplace and beyond. Progress has been made over the past decade, but discrimination can still happen and significant inequalities remain. One in four trans workers is forced to change jobs because of the bullying and harassment they experience at work. I've worked for Darlington Council for 25 years. I started Darlington Council as Philip. 12 years later, I transitioned to Philippa. Although Philippa's employers were supportive, many of her colleagues weren't. I had a number of cases where staff had been particularly discriminatory. I ended up on antidepressants. The, I, I literally couldn't leave the house. I would get ready for work in the morning, get to the door and just not be able to open the door handle because I didn't know what I was going to face during the day. Many unions undertake activities to encourage people from particular groups into membership, but migrant workers are still less likely to join a union than British-born workers. Jemima came to Britain as a refugee 14 years ago. At that first few years, it was really um, sad, I would say, because it's first is that I'm, I'm, I'm not used to the community and I have to adapt to the community. And then I worked as a nanny and also a domestic worker. Um, it was bad because I was treated badly by employers. So for example, they will not um, give you the salary that you're supposed to be, you know, even that. So I was like paid a hundred pounds a week. Three in ten unions have campaigns and projects aimed at recruiting migrant workers. I think it's essential uh, for migrant workers to join the union. It's, it's, it's a representation of that solidarity of workers uh, across classes, across race, across gender and creed. There are also practical uh, benefits in joining a union, of course. Uh, you have protection at your workplace and other benefits that, uh, that, that, that unions uh, offer. One of the benefits of joining a union is having access to equality reps. Half of all unions now have trained reps like disability champions to support members and promote equality issues. And the TUC trains 3,000 union reps a year on equality issues. It's only been in the last three years that I found out that I have dyslexia, dyscalculia and Erlins. Um, I did suspect that I might have some issues but never knew what they were. The support of the, uh, the unions uh, is, is very important um, to help people with uh, neurodiverse issues. I have been given that support. They have um, helped me uh, get software to help me on the computer. So the, the coping mechanisms that I used to have to put in place myself are now there from the software that I use. Two in five unions are taking positive action to address the underrepresentation of women and black members among workplace reps. In 2009, Jane put together an equality committee to promote the role of women in her workplace. So it's just pointing out the things that we need just to be part of the workforce and just do our job on a daily basis. Half of unions actively reach out to lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender workers. The very first day I walked to work as Philippa was, I can still remember the date, it was December the 3rd. I walked to work that day with a, a fellow union colleague and she was brilliant because I was shaking like a leaf. Um, I walked into my office, said good morning to the staff and from that moment on, my life began. 
Unions are responding to an increasingly diverse workforce, promoting equality in their membership, representative structures, campaigns and employment practices. But challenges remain. As unions, we must do more to recruit from all sections of the workforce and address the issues that matter to them. You have to celebrate diversity. We have to celebrate difference. We would be a funny world if we were all the same, and we don't want to be all the same.